What's the opposite of being a toxic boss? No one aspires to toxicity, but a lot of successful leaders find out much later than they should that other people consider them hard to work with and too demanding and too driven. And this is hard feedback to receive. Many people who get 360 feedback are shocked to see how many of their colleagues and people who work for them criticize them for traits that they see as critical to their success. They find themselves getting stuck thinking, should I be less driven? People will think I'm soft then. How can I not make an impact? How is that not going to affect my performance? And this is especially hard feedback for female leaders who are battling the unconscious bias that wants women to be nice so that when they choose to be results-oriented, they get criticized for being too driven instead. Though a paradox on its surface, the solution to being driven while also building a positive management reputation is to take a both-and approach. And the leaders who accomplish this balance are more successful than those that stay stuck in the paradox. Here's what these non-toxic bosses manage to achieve. They build competitive and cooperative mindset that they know how to use when and where they're most appropriate. They learn to focus on relationship building and getting things done. They know how to have a big picture vision and detail-oriented work technique, value business success and personal well-being. They develop confident, visible, and humble leadership presence. And they know how to empower other people while remaining accountable themselves. If you work in a super toxic culture, then leading this way may feel impossible. But it's not. Most of my clients achieve this form of creative leadership when they shift their mindsets to believe that it's possible. What's your experience becoming a non-toxic leader?